good morning students welcome back to the moral science class yesterday i have discussed the value of reading books today we are going to read chapter number 3 pleasure of reading before reading the chapter let's go through its big picture in this chapter we are going to discuss about the meaning pleasure of reading where is it required advantages of following this value disadvantages of not following this value i will also discuss story based on this value after reading the chapter we will discuss different situations related to this value now objective the main objective of teaching this value is to tell you the importance of reading books Now students open your book at page number 16 chapter 3 pleasure of reading underline the word pleasure write down its meaning happiness it means when someone makes reading as his or her passion and next point we will discuss where is it required means where we have to follow this value students this value is required at school or at home whenever you feel alone you can take the company of the books as it is said books are our best friends now let's start reading mehak is in third standard she studies his course books regularly underline the word course books write down its meaning text books underline regularly write down usually she also likes to study story books encyclopedias etc underline the word encyclopedias write down its meaning books of knowledge she reads newspaper every day next is think and write Mehak gets pleasure from reading different kinds of books, magazines and newspapers. Students, we have already discussed about Mehak in the above lines. She is in third class. She likes to read story books, magazines and newspapers. This shows that she knows the value of reading books. Now come to the next line. Do you also like to read books other than your course books? Now tell me, do you also enjoy to read different kinds of books in your free time? I hope you all like to read your favorite book in leisure time. There are some questions you have to answer in the form of true or false number 1 do you study your course books regularly number 2 do you read story books number 3 do you read the newspaper every day number 4 have you ever read about a great person now come to the next paragraph reading is a good habit it is the best way to utilize our free time underline the word utilize write down use moreover it enriches our knowledge underline the word enriches write down enhances underline knowledge write down awareness it means reading not only increases our knowledge it is also the best way to spend our free time now come to the next line books are called the best companion of human beings underline the word companion write down friend you will never be alone and bored if you have a good and interesting book with you underline the word alone write down lonely underline interesting write down enjoyable students 
If you feel alone and having no friends to play, you should read your favorite book as books are the best source of entertainment. Now, come to the next paragraph. Some books are read simply for pleasure and amusement. Underline the word amusement. Write down fun. Students, some books give you amusement. When you read such types of books, your heart filled with joy and brings happiness on your faces and keeps you stress free. Come to the next line. These help us to know our culture, history and civilization which inspire us and develop are correct. Write down the meanings. Culture means customs. History, study of past, civilization, human development, inspire, motivate, develop, to make, character, personal qualities. It means some books give you fun like Storybook, while textbooks are based on culture, history and civilization. Come to the next paragraph. Some books make us know about great people, their life and their precious thoughts. Underline the word precious. Write down valuable. Underline thoughts. Write down idea. Students, some books are based on the lifestyle of the people who inspire us. By reading such types of books, we come to know about their valuable thoughts. Come to the next line. Books contain a wealth of knowledge and information on every subject on the earth. It means books are the storehouse of knowledge. We can get the information about any field through books. Now come to the next line. You can learn about wonderful places of the world just by reading about them. Underline the word wonderful. Write down its meaning amazing students some books provide us knowledge about glorious places of the world when you read about the monuments through various pictures you feel that you are at the same place come to the next line some books give us a good mental exercise they may contain Mental maths, riddles, puzzles. Underline the word riddles. Write down mystery. Underline puzzles. Write down a problem that is difficult to solve. Students, some books are based on mental exercises like riddles, puzzles and mental maths. You should try to solve the questions given in these books as they sharpen your brain. Moreover, students, you must read variety of books to increase your knowledge. Now, I am going to discuss advantages and disadvantages of this value. Let's come to know the advantages of following this value. Number 1. Reading improves our speech skill. Number 2. We will pronounce the words correctly. Number 3. It fuels our imagination. Number 4. It helps us to learn new words. Number 5. It helps us to increase our knowledge. Now, on the other hand, there are 
some disadvantages of not following this value number 1 our speech skill will not improve number 2 we will not be able to pronounce the words correctly number 3 our imagination will be limited number 4 we will not be able to learn new words number 5 our knowledge will not be increased students i hope through this video you have learned the value of reading books and make your habit to read more and more books now your homework is to read these pages again and revise word meanings do exercises a and b on book thank you and have a nice day